Hello, I'm Tarla Dara speaking. Today I'm going to teach you Mung Sprouts Dapka Kadi. Our meals are not complete without good dal or good kadi. Kadi is a must with the biryani, with the rice dishes. First, we will grind the mixture for dapkas. For that, we need sprouted mung. These are the green chilies and ginger. Add water and make a mixture. Our mungs are ground and we, to that we add salt. A pinch of hay. If you don't like hay taste, don't worry. Very little haldi, fresh coriander leaves, fresh methi leaves, and a little basil. Make a mixture. See, it is now well mixed, okay? So, now we start frying. Fry one, check it, and then fry it. Here you don't need very crispy pakoras. If you're putting in a curry, you need soft. So you take them out little early. See, they are getting ready. Very easy. And one thing I can tell you, you can make them very in advance and add them last. Can I tell you one secret? You don't want to fry the pakoras. Well, you say you're taking healthy sprouts and you're not you are frying it now. No, it's not so. You can do it without frying it. And how to do it, I'll show you. Take a plate. Take a plate which goes in microwave. We can go in a microwave. And put small, small pakoras. And microwave for 30 seconds. How many seconds? 30 seconds. And see how it comes out. So I'm going to send it to micro, okay? But there is a lot of difference between the two. This gets cooked, but this remains very soft. So it depends on you what you how you like. Understood the pakoras. So these are your pakoras. Another thing I can tell you is uh, you can serve with green chutney as a cocktail snack. Now we make the curry. You remember, I told you to put it in microwave. So, these are from microwave. See, they are formed. They don't look pretty, but they become very soft and tasty inside. They don't look pretty, but they are formed and nice. You can put them without getting scared into the hot curry. They will not separate and taste equally good. Now we make the curry mixture. Fresh curds. Basin. First, we mix dahi and basin very well so that mixing of water becomes easier. It's very important. Mix dahi and curds very, very well. See, now it is mixed well. You see? So now we add water gradually and stir it. Well, three cups of water. Wow, the curry looks plain. So our mixture is ready. So we bake the curry. This is ghee. You can take oil. These are uh, mustard seeds, cubic seeds. Allow it to crackle for a while. Well, do you like the taste of methi? You can add a few grains of methi. So I'm going to add a few grains of methi. Add a few cinnamon and cloves. Curry leaves. See, it's getting ready. And finally, add hing. So, the, it's ready. And we add for the, the mixture. Add salt to taste. So, we are adding green chili peas. So, allow it to boil for a while. Little haldi, not much, very little haldi. And you have to remember, 
when you add besan to the curds, you must stop. Otherwise, besan settles down at the bottom and you have problems. So, this is what you have to remember. So, allow it to boil. Our curry has started boiling. So allow it to boil for a while. Because without boiling, no taste. It comes up also, but you have to go on stirring. That's very important. Well, I want to ask you, would you like it with little sugar or without sugar? That's your choice. You take your choice. I would add sugar. So that's your curry. It's boiling nicely. Add the tankas. Wow, they look pretty and tasty. See how pretty it looks. I give a boil for a few minutes. And so hot with coriander on top. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.